Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Project Sphinx. A first person puzzle solving game kind of platformer where you play as a little robot. As you can see bottom left it is available 13th of July. So this is the demo. Anything in the demo is not representative of the final product. So here we are. We're, we're a kind of welcome this little little dude I guess. No, hello, sir. Vados, is that you? Okay. I tapped into your startup message. No way I'm letting him guide you. Okay, so. Oh my god, look at all this hamburgers and cakes. Is that beans on toast? That's either very small hamburgers or extremely large toast. So it's kind of like my thing where I come and have a look at the 3D models of certain stuff. Some of this, some of this stuff is looking pretty good. Anyway, so we're in some kind of party. Something's happened. Um, and we are a little robot. So we can go through doors that are green. So let's go. We have a right click. The place is a mess. To get anywhere. Okay, so we can teleport. You know, the portable okay. arm-mounted wormhole slinger. It's not an official name, but I okay. like it better. So we have to hit a wall for it to, uh, register. And, okay, so where we, where we hit determines where we will teleport to. Welcome, you and I, upon upgrade station, presenting improved optics. Ooh. Okay, so hold left shift to see the trajectory. We're currently not playing on um, keyboard, so left shift is left trigger. And so we, we can see here, and then we can teleport to it. That's that's pretty interesting. Using teleport pads. Well, they? at least until the accident. Don't worry, I destroyed all the teleporters throughout the station. So that no one feels tempted to use them. But this Look at that. You have to speed running. Way out. Speed running this game. System is offline. Okay, so something, something's gone down. There seems to be a lot of... Um, seems to be a lot of uh, robots in here, so... Maybe, maybe they did it. Maybe it's some kind of trick. Ah. There you go. So we can't just jump around. We have to hit something. We do have a jump. It's not, um, it's not that high. Feels a bit like, I guess we are a robot. So it kind of makes sense. Did you know you're not we... actually teleporting? After the accident, no one wanted to risk using real teleportation again. Okay. Instead, the moment you decide to blink to your projectile, your intermolecular spaces are crushed, turning you into a ball of super dense matter that travels down the wormhole, jumping that... out of the exit tunnel in your projectile. Then I you're instantly decomposed. I feel like I'm dead then. Fire, right? Just imagine what would happen if you failed to decompress properly. Uh -huh. Okay, what, what is this? Oh, that's what I hit. So, yeah, what would happen if we failed to do that? Would we die? So I like how this, this green stuff is kind of telling us where to go. That's cool. Oh no. As a robot, we can't, of course... We cannot crouch. This is kind of like reverse portal. Does that make sense? Ooh, okay. So what if we do something like this? Oh my god, I'm a, I'm a genius at this game. 
Okay, ignore that. There we go, we did it. We've made it to... Okay. Here. Things okay. get trickier. Red energy you will destroy parts of the station from ionizing radiation the stuff. and high energy bursts. As a result, it will block your pause projectile. Okay, but it doesn't hurt me. No, it doesn't hurt me, but while we're inside it, we cannot shoot. Interesting. Okay. Okay, where, where are we supposed to go from here? Ah, uh, yeah. It also gets destroyed kind of instantly. We can interact with blocks. It's my block. Let me see where this is going. Kind of stuck over. Oh my god, that's not what we want to do. Okay, so we shoot and then move it. No, that's not what we do. But maybe that could actually be what we do. Can we just stand on here? Ah, uh, we can. Okay. I wanna. I wanna be slingshot, shotted to. Yeah, over there. Now we're off of it. And we can get past this. Ah, okay. Right, I understand. So we're gonna take this block and put it on top of this area over here. See, it's kind of hard to see the um, like which way we can walk through that because of the uh, the redness, but. We'll deal with it. You, you little robot. That's all I'll. That's all I'll say. Okay. So I kind of want to do a little zigzag motion. I think. I think we'll be fine if we hit that wall and immediately press it. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, we can just walk through that now. Do a little jump. And wait for this little platform to come and come and get us. Jump. Ooh, okay. A little bit of floatiness. But we're we're okay, we're fine. Give me some more upgrades. I love upgrades in games. Okay, we got here. Okay, that, that that was pretty easy. Just had to walk through it. Anything for me? Kind of, you know what? It's kind of a little bit creepy. Um. Oh my god. Can 
don't see anything, sir. Okay, and this one goes up there. We done goofed it. Hmm. Is it moving out of sync? I think it is. We might be able to get it here. Need to be a little bit quicker than that. A lot quicker than that. There we go. We did it. A little bit of um, rebounding happening there. So I wonder what the green marks are for. Is that just to tell you like where you fired previously? Kind of makes sense actually. Okay, space tech. We need to go over there. Send me there. It's a long way away. Drop that down there. Need anything up here? Drop this one down there. <laughs> Go join it. Oh, set the companion cube on. Nearly fell off. Don't do that. Ah, we all. Wait, we need all three? Well, I count as one, so. see so we have to be we have to be bouncing is that high enough yes it is there we go easy that one there put ourselves in the middle so we can easily do that Okay, I, I, there we go. Level summary, shots, playtime, 13 seconds, zero deaths. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I like the puzzles. I, th I think it's unique and like cool. Okay, welcome unit nine, upgrade station. Ores booster pack. Interesting. Custom projectile speed. You can change the projectile speed using mouse wheel. We'll find out what it is. When you set your projectile speed to more than minimum, you will gain some bullet velocity, velocity after you teleport. You've reached the unpassable obstacle. You are so okay. lucky to have me as the brain of the operation. Okay, so we I'll can go left and right. Tip. When you teleport to your projectile, you keep your inertia and direction. Now let's see what you do with this information. Ooh. Not bad, but I'm far from impressed. Okay. I did it faster, and I had no one to give me tips. Okay, I don't care, lady. Okay, cool. So, what does changing this do? What does it do? Oh, okay, we go super fast. So now we can um just fucking rocket through stuff. That's no good. I 
I see. Maybe if we come off of this. I can see how people would speed run this game. Oh, that's really cool. Supposed to be a um ah there is couldn't really see this. I think maybe you could make the boxes a little bit different. I know they have the um the green on there for a reason. Yeah. I don't know, I just feel like maybe maybe they could be like a brighter color or whatnot. Oh, another upgrade? Okay. Time bender. What does this do? Slow motion. You can slow time. We slow it by pressing Y. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we do have like uh, that's not the right button. And we can, yeah, there we go. We keep our momentum. We have a certain amount of time. And we use that. Okay, so we, we got to get to there huh? let me in and there see I can get in you don't have to worry about that shit I pressed the wrong button Interaction button. Okay. So we're supposed to pull, shoot, then get in there. Perfect. Wait, are we supposed to be in here? Yeah, no. We're supposed to be in here. I think. Ah, yes, the door. Door needs to be open. We interact with that. I think we do want a little bit of a slant. Okay, so a little bit disorientating when you're when you're moving so strangely okay where do I have to go hmm Shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's that's what we gotta do. But we have to be quick about it. Oh, 
got it? I think we got it. We did get it. Just, just spamming buttons. Okay. Do I need to find something to get up there? Okay, what does this do? Ah, okay. Wait, hang on. If I just do this, do I have to be standing on this one? Does this one stay lit up for? I think I'm I think I'm missing something. fact that we can turn it on and off so Okay, so this is, all right, so I need to grab that. <laughs> Come on, let me grab it. Okay. I mean, this way, it makes way more sense than what we were doing. Slide over there. And then we can just stand on this normally. Oh my god. There you go. That was Project uh, Sphinx. 
very enjoyable game. Uh, I like the puzzles. I can see how the puzzles would get insanely like complicated, especially when you keep adding more upgrades. Maybe that is all the upgrades, but yeah, the slowdown, you maybe you have to go slower than you have to go faster. I think, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And I love uh, platformers. So there you go. You can uh, check out the demo. It's coming soon. As always, I'll see you guys next time and goodbye.